Hello, in this video we're going to look at two methods to derive the long run total cost and long run average cost of a firm. We'll start with method one. Here is the firm's production function. Output is a function of units of labor and units of capital. And the wage rate is $4 and the price of capital is $8. First thing we'll do, we'll get the marginal product of labor. Take the partial derivative of the production function with respect to labor gives us this result here. And we get the marginal product of capital. Taking the partial derivative of the production function with respect to K gives us this result. The optimality condition for employing the least cost input mix is given by the marginal product of labor divided by the wage equal to the marginal product of capital divided by the price of capital. Remember, W in this example is going to be 4, and R will be 8. So I'm going to put the marginal product of labor right here in the numerator and divide it by the price of labor, and I'll do the respective thing for capital. And then it's just a matter of simplifying this. So the one-halves cancel, so that's what I do in this step. Uh, the next thing I do, I follow the rules of exponents, and I take this L to the minus one-half, and I put that down into the denominator, which becomes just L to the one-half power. And likewise, K to the minus one-half power, I'm going to move that down into the denominator, and it'll become K to the one-half power, losing the minus sign. And then the next step here, uh, we can cross-multiply K to the one-half times K to the one-half is K, L to the one-half times L to the one-half is L. And then this 8 divided by 4 is where that 2 is coming from. So this will simplify down very nicely to L equals 2K. And once we get this L equals 2K, we're going to plug it back into the production function. Where we see L in the production function, we're going to put in 2K. And now we're going to solve this for K. So k to the 1 half times k to the 1 half is just k, and we have the square root of 2 here. And doing a little division, we'll get k equals the following. And for L, we want to get an expression for L. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this k, which is output divided by the square root of 2, and I'm going to plug it back into this L equals 2, 2 k equation. And doing that, L equals the square root of 2 times the quantity of output. So these are two key results for us. Writing those two key results right here from the last screen, we're going to make our long run total cost function, which in general is just the wage times labor plus the price of capital times capital. And where we have L, I'm going to plug in 2 to the 1 half power times Q, where we have K, I'm going to plug in this result. Uh, before I do that, though, you'll notice here I plugged in the wage of $4 here and the price of capital of $8. So again, making our substitutions for L and K using our expressions above, we get this result. And that's basically our long run total cost equation. We could simplify it a little bit like this, adding it up. That's our long run total cost, just a straight line from the origin. And to get long run average cost, we're just going to divide long run total cost by Q, and we get 11.32. Uh, if you remember, our production function uh, displayed constant returns to scale. The sum of the exponents on labor and capital equaled 1. Therefore, the long run average cost will be a horizontal line, and indeed it is. All right, so that's method one. Uh, let's show you another way of getting the same exact results. Method two. Again, starting with the same production function, constant returns to scale production function. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take this production function, and I'm going to solve it for L. So L to the one-half equals Q. And I just divided everything through by k to the 1 half. So take the production function and solve it for L. Squaring everything gives us this result. Now I'm going to formulate the long run total cost equation. We saw this before. Long run total cost is a wage times labor plus the price of capital times units of capital. 
And for L, I'm going to plug in Q squared divided by K. We have this expression. And we can, you know, I could have did this earlier, but dub, what is W? W is 4. What is R? R is 8. So making those substitutions, we have long-run total costs that look something like this. And so the next step here, what I want to do is I'm just going to move this K into the numerator. So just following the rules of exponents, 1 over K is just K to the minus 1 power. So we have that. And then here's the key part. We're going to take the derivative of this long-run total cost equation with respect to K. And we're going to set that equal to 0. So doing that, uh, bring this minus 1 down in front. we got the minus 4 here. k to the minus 1 minus 1 in the exponent leaves us k to the minus 2. And then the derivative of 8k is just 8. So just moving some, some things around here, losing the minus sign here. Dividing through by 4. Following the rules of exponents, moving this k down into the denominator. Same result as the last slide. Multiplying through by k squared. Dividing through by 2. Essentially, we're just solving for k here. So we get a result, k equals q divided by the square root of 2. Going back to our long-run total cost equation that we started with, wherever I see k, I'm going to plug in this result here, q divided by the square root of 2. So two substitutions here and here. And now it's a matter of simplifying. get something like this and we've seen this before long run total cost is 11.32 times Q and we divide that long run total cost through by Q we get long run average cost of 11.32 okay I hope you found this video helpful